What it do, everybody? It's your boy, King Crowder, checking in with another edition of history that we did not know or history that we should know about America. Today's lesson and topic will be on a gentleman named Horace King. Who is Horace King and why is he important? Horace King was born an enslaved man in September 1807 in the Chesterfield District of South Carolina. For those who do not know, South, South Carolina was becoming into a freedman's land while a lot of free blacks went to develop their own land and had their own crops. The reason why Mr. King was so important is because he was a successful bridge builder. Most people don't know that he developed 90% of the bridges that were in West Georgia, North Alabama, and North Georgia around that time from the 1830s and 1870s. So this gentleman with no formal education learned, ran a construction crew and built bridges all across the South during the period of enslavement and high chattel slavery around that period of time. The reason why it was such a big deal was because nobody met a man like Horace who had the natural skills and ability. He worked with his formerly enslaved person. Then he went independent, breaking all type of ground and building office buildings and office buildings and all type of things around the time. The reason why it was so prevalent because his first big bridge he built was on the river of the Chattanooga. It was something, a new model that we've never seen around that time before that was completely revolutionary. Mind you, we have chattel slavery. Most people think enslaved people can't think. And you have this gentleman literally revolutionizing transportation, innovating how bridges are formed and built around this time, and literally having a blueprint from his mind and creating it. The one thing that was so phenomenal about Mr. Um, Horace King was that around this time, he was breaking down doors and barriers that we didn't think could be done. He was a married man married to Frances Thomas, who was a free black woman of herself. They had four boys and one girl. Mr. King taught the traits and skills to his son to keep that legacy going. The reason why he is such a monumental figure is because he literally developed new ways that we still utilize to this day. For example, the enclosed bridges we see. That was never a thing around this time until Mr. King noticed that the structure could support it when the bugs and horses could walk around safely and get away from the rain. Most of the time, most bridges were exposed in the Americas around this time, especially around the American time period. Mr. Horace innovated by teaching things to different people. The one thing I want to notice that he also built was construction homes. He built a lot of the government buildings with us, where a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, southern states and southern military were built in. Mr. King turned his traits and utilized his abilities to literally construction and build the South up. We always think about how the enslavements worked the crops in the fields, but we never heard the stories about the ones that were actually building the bridges. I know any time in history that's never talked about those gaps and how those developments came across, but we actually had the mind of those people building the bridges at this time. Another expert found about Mr. King was that later in life, he actually won us a seat in political office as a Republican member. Remember around this time, most blacks ran as a Republican seat especially post reconstruction because they wanted representation of themselves as they was going through these battles and these wars. I think the one thing that was so most prevalent about the gentleman that surprised me was his intellect, his ability to articulate, retain information and utilize the information in a short period of time. Remember, he had no formal education. He had no formal training or construction work and he had no expertise in it. This brother simply used his intellect and his mind to guide, build, and develop with his hands. This focus should be on him because it's a credible story that we never hear about. The black bridge building in the South. So when you in those areas of Alabama, Georgia, you might be across a Horace King Bridge, you might not even know about it. I think it's prevalent and it's a good focus to learn about the gentlemen that did things in the light that we don't know. All right, man, it's your boy King Carter checking back out again. Coming to you quick with a lesson on Horace King. I'm going to have some sources underneath the video that you can check out or check for yourself. But I think it's a definitely excellent project you should mention and learn. Peace.